Welcome back to Ballheaded Metal, guys. It's been a while since I've done an Epica reaction. I recently saw the new upload that they have, Black Infinity, live at Paradiso. So I thought to myself, nice time to jump back into some Epica. Those who are new to this channel, just be prepared. to I voice my opinion 100%. There's been songs from Epica that I didn't enjoy and styles from Epica I didn't enjoy and others that completely blew my face away. I say it more for the sake of conversation, how I personally feel about the music rather than an outright criticism of a particular artist. I think it makes it more fun of a reaction. With that being in, my, in mind, let's jump into it, see what we got. It looks like it's an older uh, footage because I see the keyboard still has hair. That being said, let's see if we enjoy the song. See, this is the style when I first started reacting to Epica. Uh, this is the style I remember from the band from way back when, when they first came out or really got popular. I used to have a friend in high school who was a really big fan of the band, and we would always talk about how much he loves this particular music. There was other symphonic metal bands around, like Nightwish and everything, but him, this was the number one. And that's what I thought Epica really stood for until you guys showed me also that almost like that death metal that they do in their later part of their career. It's so nice to know, for, especially for fans, that you have these two sides of a band you get to enjoy. The one so different from one another and gives you a, 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 an interesting reason to go back into their material back and forth because it changes so much. So far, despite the fact you guys know the softer symphonic stuff is usually not my jam. I think the first of all, Simone's voice and the overall kind of melody, I think it's quite beautiful. Yeah, this song is definitely led by Simone. It's her voice that leads to this particular song. Because in the way of instruments, there's, the, there's a, 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 a measured simplicity in the writing to let her take the lead so it doesn't overshadow her. And I kind of also perhaps understand Mark's point of view of this was definitely the popular genre to play this particular way in the beginning of symphonic metal. And I feel like Keith felt he hit probably a ceiling on what he can do in music. And that's why I think if it's expanded to something heavier, especially after doing something like Maya, he really expanded to something heavier territory for Epica. And he wasn't afraid to do it because I think they really cross genres and go really heavy sometimes. And we are able to bring it back to something that's really soft like this. You see all the experiences he's had that he's pulled in into the later part of the career. So I would argue that Epica has only gotten better with age. They're aging like fine wine. They're just getting better. 
Uh, I can still appreciate this era of the band, but I also see how this is a a simpler. It's like playing um if you guys anybody anybody plays video games, it's like playing a two D game and stepping into three D. You can still respect the two D and what is done, and that there was a foundation, but you can never go back to the same thing after experiencing three D. That's a weird example I'm going to give here, but that's kind of how it is in my brain. Yeah, I think this performance was a nostalgic look back into the band of what they used to be and kind of their strong foundations and just, I don't know. I honestly would love to hear from fans, how do you feel about the, the this more mild, more, just more about the kind of the, 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 the atmosphere and melody that's going on here versus what they do now with something like... Um, like Skeleton Key or something like that, you know? Uh, I really think the land, latest album from them is just like the pinnacle of a band, which rarely happens, I think, right? Where where a band finds their peak in the end of their career rather than somewhere in the middle and then kind of you see the downfall of the band with something mm -hmm. like uh, Megadeth, for example, after Rust in Peace, that was the peak of the band. Yes, the albums after that were good, but it never reached the same heights. Uh, whereas here, I think their last album, it's only Omega is only there probably their best work, uh, if not one of the best for sure. That being said, I would love again to hear your particular feedback on some of the things that I've said with this particular reaction. And guys, also make sure to enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there and keep it metal.